if the first Sunday of Epiphany is devoted to the wise men bringing gifts to the Christ child, the second week, seven days later, we jump approximately 30 years in the future and we encounter Jesus as an adult who is baptized by John the Baptist in the River Jordan. There are many different understandings across Christianity when it comes to baptism, many theology, many ways of doing it. There's one question that many are asking these days. What is the point of baptism? Because the way they will tell us is if it does not necessarily enhance our sacredness, nor guarantee to live happily ever after, well, why come at the front of a church for, what, 10 minutes to say a few things, answer a few questions, and receive a few drops of water on the forehead? What would it change in the life of a person, and the life of a baby? Well, some would, will argue that it's a rite of passage, a marker uh, that introduced someone into a community, a congregation, a way that says you belong here. But from a very practical point of view on this 21st century, would be a selling membership card uh, it might be easier <laughs> that way and bring more revenue. Other would say that since Jesus uh, got baptized, so should we. In the same, but this argument, I would say, well, Jesus also did wreck havoc in the temple, and we did not turn this into a sacrament that everybody is invited to repeat. So what should we do? Well, maybe baptism is not necessarily what we do, what we promise at one day in our life, but what God does for us. Baptism says essentially we are beloved. Before our first conscience taught or act on our part, we are surrounded by God's love, that nurture, that sustain, that transform us, that stay with us until our last breath. And a way to acknowledge this great gift, this gratefulness we have found is baptism. It's a way to name, to remember a reality that is already existing. And maybe for this reason, we should not see baptism as um, an obligation. We should not understand baptism as a VIP pass for heaven, but a way to deepen our relationship with God. God that love us, God that invite us, and it's a way to answer back, say, okay, I'm ready to go further in this relationship. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. I hope that the new year bring you great gifts, great surprise, a lot of joy. Remain safe, remain healthy. And until next time, I remain Reverend Stéphane Vermette and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.